All right, and our next system is called a ciphered system. In this case, we have numerals for numbers up to and including the base, and then for multiples of the base. And the numbers represented by a specific set of numerals is the sum of the values of the numerals. So it's an additive system, but we have many, many symbols. We are going to take a look at the Ionic Greek system here. So take some time to write these out. We got an alpha here. We have a beta. Gamma. Delta, Epsilon, Digamma, and this is actually from the Phoenician alphabet, uh, since the Greeks didn't have enough letters, they had to steal some, Zeta, probably one of the harder ones to write, here's Eta, and Theta. So here are their symbols for 1 through 9. Next, they had multiples of your symbols 1 through 9. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So it's almost like it followed our normal speech pattern where we have a new word for each new power or multiple of 10. So we have iota. Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Chi, another hard one, Omicron, Pi, and Copa. And Copa was also taken from the Phoenician alphabet. Next, we get all the multiples. Uh, of our 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, so on. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and we get rho, sigma, tau, upsilon, which is more like a u, we have phi, and chi, and psi, omega, and sampi. And this one was taken from the Phoenician alphabet as well. Now you might think, well, do they keep going? Are these guys that crazy that we would do another symbol for 1,000? Well, at this point, they actually stop and they use a little symbol for multiplication. So for 1,000, they would write alpha prime. Okay, so that little prime means times 1,000. Okay, so if you have to go into the thousands, you're just going to use this right here. All right, so let's try some of these. 24. So all we have to do is find the symbol that represents 20, and then the symbol that represents 4, and then write them next to each other. So 20 is our kappa right here, and then 4 is our delta. So there's the number 24. 996. So we have 900 right here, which is Sampi. 90, right here, which was our Copa. And then 6 is right here, and that is our Digamma. So this one was using all Phoenician letters here. Let's try 8,652. So again, for the thousands, we're actually going to write 8 times 1,000. So we want this one, eta, times 1,000. And then 600. It's right here. It's chi. 50. 
is right here. Oh, what was that one called? That one was called new. And then two is beta. And one more here, 200,000. So now, in this case, anytime you go into the thousands, you're going to use that prime. So we actually want to take 200 times 1,000. Okay, so we're going to take the sigma right here. Oh, what was this one called? Yeah, sigma. So sigma prime for 200,000, and that's it. So what we can see here is that these numbers are very easy to write and translate, but it does require the memorization of many, many symbols, uh, but it can be very compact to write some of these numbers. All right, and the next one is just translating. So we're going to be hunting and pecking here, but we can think, well, this is probably going to be in the hundreds place. So if we look here, that one is 600. This next one, that one is right here, and that's going to be 30, so plus 30. And then this last one is 8. So this is 638. For our next one, let's see if we can find this symbol. Okay, that one looks like this one right here, so that's a 7 times a 1,000. That's 7,000 plus, okay, that was our sigma, that was right here, 200. And then this symbol right here, that's our delta, and that's 4. So this is the number 7,204. And again, in this case, for a ciphered system, you don't have to put a 0 for a specific place value. But in a place value system, you do. All right, I want you to try this next one on your own. Go ahead and pause the video. Come on back when you're done. All right, how'd you do? So this was the symbol for 400 times 1,000, so 400,000. Here's a 9 times 1,000, so 9,000. And then 321, so 409,321. All right, that's it for our additive and multiplicative and ciphered systems of numeration.